Welcome to She Coaches Coaches. I'm your host, Candy Motzek, and I'm going to help you find the clarity, confidence, and courage to become the coach that you are meant to be. If you're a new coach, or if you've always wanted to be a life coach, then this is the place for you. We're going to talk all about mindset and strategies and how to, because step by step only works when you have the clarity, courage, and confidence to take action. Let's get started. Hey there, and welcome to this episode of She Coaches Coaches. Friends, I am so pleased that you're here listening to me. I love creating these episodes for you. So welcome. Now, today's episode is a real life, real time example. It's a lesson that I wanted to share with you, and it's all about integrity. But before we get started, I want to share this review with you. It is from Melissa M underscore narrator. And here's what she has to say. Candy is the best. And that's all capitalized. (laughs) Kind of fun. It didn't take many podcast episodes for me to realize that I needed Candy in my life as a coach. She is everything you would imagine she'd be caring, curious, kind, empathetic, and wise. I feel like a stronger coach, a better wife and mother, and kinder to myself after becoming her client. Just listening to this podcast will improve your life. All the stars. Melissa is one of my clients, and I love her. But you guys know that, right? I think I love all of my clients. I am always just so thrilled to be working with these amazing people. Now, Melissa is going to be a guest on an upcoming episode. So you're going to have to keep listening to the next episodes and you're going to hear me talking to her. I appreciate her leaving a review. I know that it's kind of a tricky thing to do. And I would love it if you would leave a review too. I read all of them. I even keep screenshots of these reviews. They're one of the few ways that I know that I'm making a difference and helping you. Now, if you want me to read your review and give you a shout out on this podcast, then leave the review. If you don't know how, I have created some instructions to make it a little easier for you. Click below in the episode notes, and then all you have to do is follow along. I had a super special vacation. I'm just back. Came back yesterday from vacation. My son got married. and He married a wonderful woman. We love her. And we are so happy she is officially part of our family. Now we've got this big blended family. And it's amazing. We always felt like she was family. But watching their commitment to each other has made it even more official. They got married at our cabin, out in nature, under a gorgeous sunny sky. They stood by the ocean with the granite cliffs and twisted arbutus trees all around while they exchanged vows. The sun was shining, like I said, and it was a great day. Unfortunately, Because of COVID and the location, we could only have just a couple of people. So, so many family members couldn't be invited. And while it's too bad, and I miss them, but in the end, this is just the start of their marriage that will last for years. They have been together for eight years already, and now they were ready to make that formal commitment. Now, The marriage is important, the ceremony, but what is the most important is to watch them create their relationship together over the years to come. So let's jump in to today's topic. Let me start with a question for you. Do you have integrity? Yeah. If you're like me, you'd say yes, a big yes, of course I do. And I guess that you and I probably share some of the same qualities and values because you're listening to this podcast. Integrity is super important to me. It is defined as doing the right thing in a reliable way. It's a trait of value that we admire because it means that the person has a moral compass 
that doesn't waver. Integrity usually means these five things, that we practice honesty, that we respect others and ourselves, that we generate trust, we take responsibility, and we keep our promises. Sounds pretty good, right? So if I give my word to somebody, you're going to bet I'm going to keep that promise. I take responsibility to live up to that commitment. And that's great. But here's where I fell down. I practice integrity with others. And I realize that I don't always practice it with myself. I keep my word to someone else, but I don't always keep it to myself. What about you? Do you find that you don't always keep your word to yourself? Take a breath and let that settle in. Do you say you're going to do something and then you just don't quite get around to it? Maybe you get busy. Maybe something else takes precedence. So let that settle. You know, if this sounds like you, it's common. So many of us feel that integrity is super important, but it's not as easy to keep our word to ourselves. It doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It doesn't mean that you're weak. It means that we want to have integrity. And sometimes it's easier to have it with others than it is to have it with ourselves. Here's how it showed up for me this week. Like I said, just back from vacation. I came back from the marriage of my son, and normally I batch my content. Honestly, I thought I had created enough of these podcast episodes to make sure that you had consistent episodes showing up every week in your preferred player. But I didn't. I messed up. I was one short. So yesterday, I started to make excuses. Oh, it's okay if I don't do an episode this week. It's been a busy week. I'm just back in the office after vacation. It's okay for me to miss just this one. I've done 52 in a row. What's one episode? You hear all those excuses, right? And I thought I felt okay with it. But I woke up in the middle of the night. I was ill at ease. Something was bugging me. I rolled around in bed for a while. I was having problems getting back to sleep. And then I realized I was disappointed with myself. Sure, I've done 52 episodes in a row, but I'm committed to doing these every week. And I realized how disappointed I was first because I was letting myself down. I commit. And I say that word with strength to creating and releasing a new podcast episode every week for you. And I wasn't keeping my word to myself. Second, I wasn't keeping my word to you, my listeners. You're in my space. And my role as the leader is to show up, lead, support, help you as best I can to add value to your life and to help you create more of what you want. And I take my role as leader to heart, not because it's hard, but because it's important and I value it and I value you. I give my word to myself and to you, and we are both important here. I know you get to choose when you pop your earbuds in and exactly what you want to listen to today. You get to choose where you give your attention, your energy, your time. And I know there are listeners who have been with me since the beginning of this podcast, more than a year ago, who wait for the next episode to drop, and then they listen to it right when it goes live. Every single week, they listen. Yeah, you heard me. And for this, I am deeply honored. Whether you're new or you've been listening consistently for the past year, I am thankful that you choose to listen to my podcast or read my posts. And I don't take that lightly. And so here I am recording. I'm recording it at the last minute. I'm sending it to my editor. And truthfully, it's an inconvenience for him. 
and I am thankful for him and his flexibility. And I do this because integrity is important to me. I gave my word and I am learning to be the woman who keeps her word. So now over to you. Where do you say you're going to do something and then don't keep your word to yourself? It's easy, isn't it? Sometimes to just slough on ourselves. I'm not sharing this with you so that you're mean to yourself. I'm sharing it with you because we coaches go first. We're always learning. We are guides and role models for our clients and for others in our lives. Allow that this might be the case with you, that sometimes you just don't keep your word to yourself as well as you keep your word to others. And you can do better. Recognize if this is the pattern for you, if this kind of shows up for you from time to time, and treat yourself with compassion. Maybe it's that you've taken on too much. Maybe you've overloaded yourself. Maybe you're just used to overcommitting because you know you're going to let yourself off the hook. But then what happens when you repeatedly let yourself off the hook? You lose self trust. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, self trust is the first key to success. Trusting yourself and being trustworthy are core to your confidence. Trusting yourself is one of the most helpful things you can do for yourself in your own life. It will help you build confidence. It will allow others to trust you more. And it makes decision making much easier too. So I hope I've got you thinking. Is this a chance for you to reassess what you commit to? Maybe it's time for you to decide to consciously commit to less. Maybe it's time for you to practice some self-compassion around this too. And finally, maybe it's time for you to step up and keep your word to yourself. Because believe me, when you do, you are going to build a store of self-trust and you'll feel empowered and so much better about yourself. So to build your self-trust, start small, especially if you notice that you have this habit. Take it step by step. Be awake and aware. Watch for those places that you overcommit and adjust. Then hold yourself accountable. Treat yourself with some compassion. Remember, you're building a new skill here, so don't expect perfection. Of course, you're going to slip from time to time. Recognize and appreciate your growth. You know, lots of people say celebrate, learn how to celebrate yourself. But I kind of like that word appreciate better. Practice, practice, practice. And you will build that self-trust. So you're going to be capable of so much more. And the next result is that your self-confidence will soar. All right, that's it for today. I so appreciate that you're here and that you're part of my community. Now, if you want more help in becoming a coach, check out the link in the episode notes to find out how to apply to work with me. And don't forget, sign up for my free resource library. It's filled with all kinds of resources and tools that you can use to get started. It's called the Coaches Online Business Academy. Click the link in the episode notes to sign up today. I'll be back to speak with you again next week. Thanks again for listening today. Please hop on over to Apple Podcasts and leave a review. Also, I would love to hear from you. Did something that I say resonate? What else would you like to learn about? Click the link in the player and leave a comment on the post. This is going to give me great ideas for future episodes so I can help you best. Join me again next week for more coaching, support, and teaching to help you become the confident coach you are meant to be.